What up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Ninja Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, Fantastic Four, we keep on getting more rumors and more possible casting rumors. One one ridiculous one that we just saw that is hopefully just a rumor. Uh, some other situations that occur with certain characters, uh, possible... Uh, Offers that were made to certain actors and actresses about taking on certain roles, and it didn't happen. Uh, we've already talked about Adam Driver, Brian, mm-hmm. uh, being, I think, a good, solid choice for Reed Richards. I think he can pull it off. Margot Robbie has... Sue Storm. That's the rumor. Su- yeah, Sue Storm. After, after Emma Stone reportedly rejected a, an offer over money. That's the other rumor. Brian, that would have been a bad choice. And I'm going to tell you why. I actually agree with you. Yes, Based right. on the conversation that we had previously about going so little with the, the 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 iterations of, she would have been too much comic book for, for me. I think Margot Robbie is certainly a better choice because she's almost playing a different part than what we've seen her play. Right? Oh yeah, this is the opposite of a yes. Harley Quinn. Opposite of Harley Quinn. Opposite of what uh, Wolf. Of, this is a different uh, a role, and 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 I'm very interested in seeing. And and first of all, Sue Storm is supposed to be bad. <laughs> that Submariner is like, yo, let me get them numbers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. We haven't gotten anything regarding uh, Johnny Storm, have we? We did. We, oh, we did. We, we no, did. We, we did. did. The, I'm te- the, so if this is true, this guy will be a somebody in about a year. So Paul Mescal, who is the star of Gladiator 2, ah. is rumored to be playing the Human Torch. So there's a possibility, like if Fantastic Four is good, there's a possibility this guy is a mega star when those two films come out within a, the same year of each other. Interesting. Interesting. Well, Hollywood believes in Paul Mescal. They're in the Paul Mescal business. Yes. If yes, that's yes. true. Yes. It looks like it, it is, Brian. And then, so I don't know, Brian, what are your thoughts on, well, I, 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 on this, on this possible rumor? If you, if you can mention the name of the possible, uh, I will. Cause actor. the thing actually has been subject to the two most, two of the most bizarre rumors at this point. So the, the rumor that Pablo's referring to is David Diggs, who you know, is, is as much known for his vocal talents as his acting talents. Yes. And no questioning his abilities as, as, as a performer, but it's just as Ben Grimm, the fit seems beyond odd. And like, again, when you look at each of these castings, you have to look at them as a collective. So you have to kind of look at it and say like, all right, if Adam Driver is my read, now I have to play all these other rumors off of that. Like, does Margot Robbie with Adam Driver have both like a, you know, a romantic chemistry, but an awkward chemistry? Like, do you buy the Ben Grimm opposite read? Do you buy, you know, Johnny and Sue? Like, none of these castings can be looked at in a vacuum. It's very different than some of these other projects. David Diggs is the thing. I just don't get the fit. I don't get the fit, which, like, which then led to, and I'll just put it in here and let you cook on it. The the even weirder rumor that they were going to gender swap the thing and that Mila Kunis was actually going to be the thing. Bro. I don't know what is the motivation to, to, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't just don't understand why yeah, that choice. Fit. I think, I think like, and the other thing too, is you do have to assume, I'm assuming that some of these parts, especially with the Ben Grimm part, and the Sue Storm part, because visually, once they're in character, like you, you don't see Sue, and the thing is a rock, literally. I assume there's flashback, right? I assume there's definitely scenes and cut scene and where you cut back to them when they are human and they look normal, and that's yeah. part of what you want the actor to do. But that then reroutes me to they all have to fit really well together on screen. And like I look at the collection of these rumors, and I'm having a tough time seeing this as the family. Like I see individual talents or like two of them work, but then like the four of them together, I don't, I'm just not feeling this collective. And if like we get to Comic-Con, which is where I absolutely think they're going to reveal this, 
because the rumor is they have made all the picks. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I'm sure people will go wild as some big names, but like, I, I think I'm going to have to see a trailer to actually believe there's real chemistry. Whereas like some of these other, you know, some of the, in the past, when they made a couple of the casting announcements, you were just like, I see it. I buy it. I'm in. I, I, I can't wait to, 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 to see the, the performance. And here, I, it's very much a show me story. I think with the cast that we have here, Adam Driver, Margot Robbie, and Paul Meskel, they, they're actors, they're pros, especially Adam Driver and Margot Robbie. I think they can make it work. I just don't get the thing choice. I just don't get it. The Robbie rumor actually makes more sense to me. So it's interesting because she probably is, right now, I would tell you that her name is bigger than her box office draw. She's yeah. kind of on a run of disappointments, if we're being honest. But what's up, what's up with that Barbie movie? I actually think that's going to be a hit. Okay. I, just given who's involved, and Greta Gerwig, Noah, Noah Baumbach, Gosling, I, I think that movie is actually going to be a sleeper hit because it's so different than anything that's out yeah, there. Yeah. But okay. you know, Margot Robbie was a star of like Amsterdam. That was a colossal flop last fall like she's had a string of these where these movies have not, even james gunn's the suicide squad where people are like oh she's good as harley quinn that movie birds of lost a ton of money. so i'm just saying the idea that she would sign on for this actually makes sense to me because mm -hmm. she needs a hit yeah and that's when i saw it i was like ah I, I i could see it i could see where she would sign that contract yeah yeah given that information that we've gotten so far with the fantastic four brian does it give you some hope that does it give you more excitement for the possibility of Fantastic? Because you and I both know that Fantastic Four can't, it has to be on another level uh, from what we've been given. It can't be falling that same bucket or shelf that those movies are in. Uh, because of the cast, Granted, the thing is a little bit of a situation. I don't know if that's going to actually go through. If it does, I'm, I, I, I want to understand it. Um, but if it, let's say that it does go through. Do you have yourself a hit right here? I'm not there yet. Like I said, I, I see. So I said, I see names. Like I see Driver. I see Driver. I see Robbie. I see rumors of Antonio Banderas as, you know, some form of Galactus and like, I see the names. I'm not seeing the big picture yet of how this is a massive step up. Like, I was trying to think of an analogy of a situation like this where we had had like versions that had failed or like had disappointed and then we got like a reboot <clears throat> or a remake and like it, it got us turned around quickly because I think if we're even being fair, like I go back to Christopher Nolan's Batman Begins. That took a little bit. I like the first teaser, that 60 seconds where Christian Bale gets introduced. But I don't know, like there was a ton, there was not a ton of hype no, off that it. teaser. It took a while for yeah. people to buy in and believe in what was happening. Yeah. The, the closest one I could think of where like it sort of worked and people did, I think, get excited out of the gate was actually J.J. Abrams' Star Trek. I felt like that had fallen on hard times and then the casting announcements started to come out and I felt like a lot of them made sense. It was like when they said Zach Kinto was going to be Spock, I'm like, I see it. Damn. It wasn't Pine because Pine was an unknown. So like that one, like I didn't really, but like they said Zoe Saldana is going to be Uhura. I was like, yeah, I, I, I see, see it. You know, I could see Simon Pegg is going to be Scotty. I see it. Carl Urban as the doctor. I see so like that was one where it felt like there was some momentum starting to build and they showed you the first bit of footage in the teaser and I was like, oh, this actually looks good. This looks fun. I don't think I'm there. Are you there with this? Like, do you feel like this makes sense yet as like a massive tentpole hit? I, outside of the thing, Brian, because again, it doesn't, I, I, again, I just don't get that, the, the act of choice, but whatever. I see what they're trying to do with, with Antonio Landeras. I can see him under that hood. I can see it. Um, one thing that sort of like, it's sort of uh, like, damn, they beat us to it type of situation is 
um, Unicron. Oh, we, 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 we talk about that later because that movie looks <laughs> fantastic. Yo, this movie looks, <laughs> oh my God. Yo, I it looks like wait. everything I wanted the, the, like an adaptation of the toys to be. Like, finally. Oh my God. So when you saw Unicron, you're like thinking, oh man, what will, how different will it look when Galactus shows up, right? Fair. So... I can see the possibilities. I can see the excitement, Brian. I can see the trailer being fantastic. There's just a lot of visual effects that have to be worked on, and the story. Yep. And I think, uh, well, I think if you fix those two, because how do you make the Silver Surfer look dope? That's tough. That's tough. That's the other reason I'm not all in yet, is because the VFX. Thing. Like we saw, as we discussed in our Guardians review, we saw that with gun and control, the VFX can look fine, but. Is Shackman in control or is he not? Is it the Marvel machine that's doing the FX work on? I don't think we know yet, to be quite honest. And so I think until we see the look, it's going to be hard for me to really buy in uh, to to what they're selling. So I just kind of feel like right now it's like they're going to try out the Fantastic Forecast and I'm at Comic Con, and I feel like James Gunn is going to trot out some Superman casting, and I think we know which ones we're going to be more excited about. Yeah, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think about uh, all of this. Um, one last thing before we wrap this up, Brian. I haven't seen Speaking of stars movie. who need hits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fast X. I have not seen the movie. I will probably never see the movie. I haven't seen a lot of the movies. And there have been how many of them? Ten, well, right? There's been, there's been 11 if you count Hobbs and Shaw. Okay. I have, I've probably seen one and two. And maybe another one, but I, I just can't. You have to have seen five. Five is the one legitimately great movie in the series. I, I don't know. I can't tell. Okay. You, should, <laughs> you should see that one if you haven't. That's the I, one that you should see. Okay, yeah. okay. But out of nowhere, or perhaps not, Brian. <laughs> because I think we you've made mention of this in jest in saying that because of the string of misfires for this individual he would be willing to come back just so he can get or get a hint of what that type of love felt like yes we are referring to the rock coming back to something he said he would not come back to What happened? Black Adam happened. Yep. What else happened? Super Pets happened. And the string of bad reviews that he's gotten for his films. The Rock stock is really down. So the Rock figures, let me get back in a cameo for the next film. Brian, your thoughts on The Rock's return to the franchise? And uh, what do you think about that I decision? I think it's the least surprising development. I mean, so Black Adam happens. He loses the power struggle for DC. As you referenced, Super Pet happens. Uh, don't omit Jungle Cruise. That was a $100 million loss for Disney. He, you know, Red Notice was watched on Netflix, but was savaged by the critics. Savaged. And it is. It's a terrible movie with mailed-in performances by, by the three leads who all got paid. So, and then the, the thing that he was trying to hype up before was this Red One Christmas movie with Chris Evans on Amazon, right? And mm -hmm. people were already making fun of that. Yeah. This idea that this was some Christmas franchise that he was going to, Christmas action franchise. So we have gotten two announcements from Dwayne Johnson since that time regarding films that he would frontline and appear in, in 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 the future. Moana. You got it. The first one was a Moana live action adaptation. The rumor starts and he pops up in the end credit scene as Hobbs in Fast X. So what do those things have in common? Well, gee, I don't know. Moana made 
seven hundred million dollars at the box office in animated form, and Dwayne Johnson's turns in the Fast and the Furious franchise yielded a, he was part of, not responsible yeah. for, yeah. but part of mm -hmm. a billion five movie in Furious Seven, a billion two movie in Fate of the Furious, a seven hundred million dollar movie in Hobbs and Shaw, an eight hundred million dollar movie in Fast Six, and I think even the original Fast Five when he first showed up, which is the best film in the series for my mm -hmm. money other than maybe the original, um, that was like a sick, at the time was like, it broke the box office range of that franchise out. Mm -hmm. So he goes back to the most, and I think there, he already has another Jumanji movie coming. So he didn't have to announce that one because that was already happening. So his most reliable box office hits, he immediately retreats into to try to rebuild some goodwill and favor with the fans. The problem for him in this is his feud with Vin Diesel was so public and the stuff he said, which is still like when Vin Diesel called him out to come back to this franchise and let's not make the rock is not a pure villain in this feud. Yeah, yeah. I, all the stories you hear about Vin Diesel, he's a difficult dude to work with, <laughs> to say the least. Mm -hmm. The rock very publicly went on a tour to say, to mock, Vin Diesel's request that he come back saying, we hashed it out. We came to an understanding. Well, apparently that understanding was if I go and flop somewhere else, you're going to keep my seat warm <laughs> and not write me out of the series. Yeah. Because yeah, that's yeah. what happened. Yeah. Yeah. But the problem is now he's going to say he did it for the fans. You know, he's going to say he did it for the fans. And it's going to be the biggest piece of hypocrisy to where Twitterverse has already all over him saying Black Adam went so badly that he went crawling back <laughs> to Mid Diesel and Fed Fast and Furious. Vert. That's what it looks like in Basketball. That's what happened. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. But it just it just goes to show you, man, that I I, I have no faith in, in any of the products that this guy's gonna be putting out. The one I'm in, uh, I've said it before, the one I am interested in is Doc Savage and Big Trouble in Little China. If those two movies, Brian's, are flops, especially Big Trouble in Little China, look at what happened with White Men Can't Jump. Horrendous. Yep. Some things you leave alone. You messing with this one? There's a possibility that The Rock could be great. All he has to do is act arrogant. He's fantastic in that. I'm surprised he hasn't won an Oscar for it yet. So, there's your chance. There's your chance to be the what's it, Jack Jack Thornton, Jack what? What whoever the his name was in in Big Trouble in Little China, he has to be better than Kurt Russell because Kurt Russell was amazing in that. Yeah, I don't see it. I don't think The Rock has that in his bag. But um, but then of course you know an honorable mention in this movie. Gal Gadot gets brought back from the dead. Ah, I didn't know that. mid credit sequence. Spoiler alert. So her character killed in Fa in Furious 6 at the end. Like you saw the body or? Like, well, they're, they're on a cargo plane that's in the air and she lets go and disappears into a ball of fire. <laughs> I, I'm, I can't wait to find out. How, I mean, unless she actually was Wonder Woman in that film, I can't wait to see how she stuck that landing after she got, yeah, you know, basically to save the day, that's what she did. So she mysteriously pops up in the mid credit in, in, in this film. Well, it's a very similar situation. This is an actress who was on the up and up coming off of Wonder Woman, could do no wrong. And yet, where are we now? Wonder Woman 3, scrapped. We hear all the talk that she's out of the part. And she really hasn't been able to bank. You know, red, she was in Red Notice as well, right? So the same poor, poor reviews that went at The Rock came at her. She has not been able to translate the Wonder Woman fame into reliable box elsewhere. So she goes back to where her first big break came. Yeah. With the Fast and Furious franchise. It's yeah. the same thing going on. Yeah, yeah. We'll see if the fans are really uh, falling for the banana and tailpipe uh, routine. <laughs> I just want... I just wanted in uh, in Fast Eleven. I just want him to say Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> Word, yo. <laughs> no man, no. It's it's. I mean, I view that franchise at this point as much as like a superhero movie as anything else. It's the way it's become. 
to where like this actually makes perfect sense that you would have these people in there but i just can't um, i mean you i mean you got aquaman in there you know playing lobo in the movie you know <laughs> you got peacemaker in the I'm telling you, there's, there's more superheroes in the Fast franchise than any Justice League or Avengers movie right now. But he got his fans, right? The people are paying the bills to go see International it. Box loves this franchise. Loves yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, but let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of all this. Uh, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. And... Uh, Thank you again for the support that, that we've been getting um, for uh, some of the shows that we put out. Um, we don't always put out hits, but we talk about we talk about the stuff that's gonna happen. That's what, that's what that's what we talk about. So um, continue to support us, continue listening to us. I really do appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Gen Report. The show goes on. Yeah!